for education and entertainment purposes only. Please consult with your health care provider before making any changes to your health. All right, I just want to set a little disclaimer, a little caveat. Uh, so caveat, this is just my review of products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and I talk a little bit about why I like those products. Now, by no means does this mean these products will work for you. All of our bodies are unique and individual. Just because I love a product doesn't mean you will, and just because you love a product doesn't mean I will, and that is totally okay. We embrace the uniqueness and individuality of our bodies. The second little disclaimer is that every product in this um, in this video is not sponsored. I do not receive any type of uh, financial kickback or compensation for mentioning these products. So this is not a sponsored video. The only product I um, do want to mention is Rescue Bomb by Sweet Spot Labs. That company, Sweet Spot Labs, did send me a product, their product to try. Um, so I did not pay with that, pay pay for that with my own money. But um, I am not sponsored by them. No affiliate links, no nothing like that. And then every other product other than the Rescue Bomb, I purchased with my own money. I'm not affiliated with the companies whatsoever. All right, let's jump into the review. Hey beautiful soul, it's Jacqueline here from the Lost Labia Chronicles where I talk about all things lichen sclerosis. So if you have lichen sclerosis and are looking to empower yourself with information, find acceptance and reclaim your life, then please subscribe to this channel and keep on watching. And if you have a friend, family member, or loved one with lichen sclerosis, and you want to learn more about the disease in order to better support them on their lichen sclerosis journey, then please share this channel with them and keep on watching. Okay, so today's video is going to be less informational than the usual ones. Today we're just going to have a kind of chit chat between you and I, and I'm going to go through my favorite emollient products. So this video is a part two of my first video on vulvar emollients. So if you haven't watched that, pause this video, go check it out. It's going to be on one of the cards here or here. Um, and I'll also link it in the description box below where I talk about why vulvar emollient is so important if you have lichen sclerosis, how to patch test, what to look for when you're shopping for an emollient and how to use an emollient. And so today is just going to be very casual. I'm going to kind of walk through each product, tell you what I like about it, what I maybe don't like about it. Um, and that's just going to be it. We're going to kind of review my favorite of all our emollient products. So if you find this information, this type of video, if you enjoy this, if you want more product reviews, um, please leave me a thumbs up and of course drop your comments if you have any questions or you want to talk about products you love. I love that. I'm here for it. Put them in the comment section below. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's start with my number one ride or die. If you've been following me for a while or if we chat together, you probably can guess what my number one ride or die is. Whew, brace my core. It is coconut oil. Coconut oil is definitely my number one um, ride or die. I use this all the time. This is 2.3 kgs, so this is pretty substantial. I get mine at Costco. Um, so one of the things I love about coconut oil is just how cheap, easy, and accessible it is. Um, you can pretty much get coconut oil at any kind of grocery store. Um, even some pharmacies sell it. It's just so easy to find. You don't have to go out of your way to find some kind of like specialized store. You also don't have to like order it online and then wait for a couple weeks. Like if I'm out of coconut oil, I can just walk down the street, go to the grocery store and pick some up. Now I know coconut oil can be a little bit controversial because uh, some folks just don't tolerate it very well. Um, they find it gives them yeast. I've never experienced this issue. I do find that in the community, we tend to be very 50-50. Either love coconut oil or you hate coconut oil. I'm on team love. I love it because it's easy to use, it's very soothing, um, and again, just super accessible and cost efficient. So I'm gonna attempt to open it. 
Um, since I use this massive jug, um, it doesn't come, I don't have like a squeeze tube or anything like that. So for me, I take a sterile clean spoon and then I just scoop the amount that I want into the spoon, put it on my hand like so. And then I will essentially just kind of rub that all over my vulva. Um, and so if you rub this in with your hands, you'll see that it kind of melts down and it just becomes like a very soft oil. So I find that very soothing. So um, that is definitely a good one. It is also great because you can like you like there's double I don't know how to say it like you can use it for lube as well so oh two in one that's what i was looking for it's like a two in one product because it can be a, a moisturizer and it can also be a lube so this one is definitely in my tops all right my other favorite is yes oil based by the company yes um, they are a fantastic company that markets products for folks with vulvovaginal disorders. Um, let's say things like menopausal dryness, lichen sclerosis, lichen planus, a whole host of different vulvovaginal issues. They really create products that are made for like sensitive vulvas, vulvas with inflammation, vulvas with issues. So very much geared to folks with lichen sclerosis. Um, now this one, I will show you the consistency in a minute, but it's a bit thicker than, uh, the coconut oil. Like once the coconut oil is broken down, so it's a little bit thicker, but it's not like super barrier type thick. And, um, by barrier, I just mean that there is often a distinction made between emollients and barriers. Barriers are often very thick. Think um, Aquaphor, Vaseline. They kind of create a protective barrier. So if you have cuts or fissures, you put it over that, creates a barrier to just kind of protect the open sore so that when you urinate, let's say, the you're less likely to get burning from the urine. So, okay, let's take a look here. If I take some out, that's what it looks like. So I don't know if we can do this. There we go. Kind of. That's how thick it is. And this is about the amount that I will use. So not too much. And then again, I will just spread it kind of around the clitoral area and the labia and the perineum. So I apply it there. Um, what I love about this company as well is they have incredible, but like incredible customer service. I had a question about a product at one point. I DM them on Instagram and they answered me that day and they were it just so helpful. It blew my mind. So amazing customer service made for folks with vulvo vaginal um, conditions. And then um, really good ingredients. I will pop some of those up on the screen. Um, but this includes sunflower oil, shea butter, sweet almond oil, uh, vitamin E, etc. Now I will note for anybody that is vegan, there is beeswax in this, but they do have, um, so this is in a tube, um, they do have individual applicators of the same product minus the beeswax. So if you are vegan, just be mindful of that and get the applicators and not the tube. I do know that they are working on a vegan formula of this product. Um, and this is actually marketed as a lubricant, but um, I did not like this as a lubricant, but I found it so incredibly soothing and so moisturizing. And I just, the consistency feels very like luxurious which is something that I very much enjoyed. Um, so for that reason, I decided to keep it, but just use it as an emollient instead of a lubricant. All right, next up, we have another one of my rider dyes. This is Clio by Demiva. They have cute little slogans for their products. If you check out their website, very clever names, very cute, very tongue in cheek. I like it. Um, this product was actually recommended to me by one of my pelvic floor physical therapists who herself actually has lichen sclerosis. And we got into talking a little bit about product recommendations and she had recommended this product as a vulvar emollient. Um, 
this price point is pretty fair. Um, I find it like kind of in the mid range, but on the like lower, low mid range. Um, so a little bit more cheap, uh, more expensive than say coconut oil, um, but it is still a very good price point. It's very easy to get. They actually, if you're in Canada like I am, they do sell it at Shoppers Drug Mart. If not, you can order off their website. The first time I actually did order off their website because I did not know that Shoppers Drug Mart carried it, and then I, and that came really fast. Like I think it came within a few days. And then I was just like shopping. I was just browsing shoppers for some reason. And I saw it there and I was like, no way. Like, okay, awesome. I don't have to order online anymore. Cool. I can just go to the pharmacy. Um, so again, great ingredients. I will pop them up on the screen um, because I don't have a, the package that it came in but I do know that they have vitamin E. I believe there's borage oil in there. There is hemp oil. Um, again, just a lot of really nice ingredients. Um, this in terms of texture is a lot more like coconut oil once it's melted down. So this very much has the texture of an oil. So it's a, a pump bottle. So when you squeeze it out, it is going to be very liquidy. So be mindful um, that it's not super thick. So I'm going to show you kind of on my hand what I mean by this. So here's one pump. Boop, and then we can see it kind of going down my arm, kind of with the light. <laughs> so it's very much like an olive oil type consistency. I'm just like wiping a bit of that off right now. So that's the consistency of Cleo by Demiva. It's really easy to apply. I love, I find it makes me feel very, very moisturized. I definitely get like that lubrication kind of feel down there. It makes exercising super comfortable, walking super comfortable, um, and it is just very soothing and I love the ingredients in it. Okay, so those were the three products that I've used for the longest amount of time, um, but I have two new products that I've been using lately and absolutely loving, so I wanted to give them a little shout out as well. So this one is uh, CBD Intimate Lubricant by Alni CBD. Now, it's interesting because there's another one the Yes OB is also a lubricant, but I don't use it as a lubricant. I use it as an emollient, and this is also a, a, a lubricant, but I use it as an emollient. So again, we'll see the texture is very, very, very similar to Cleo by Demiva because it is just a pure oil. So again, it's really hard to see, but there we go. So again, we've got an oil. Okay. So here's what I love about Alni CBD. One ingredient, pure, that's it. That's all excellent quality. It is, all of their products are vegan, which as a vegan myself, I love. Um, and also I find this a very nourishing, very soothing, very comforting. Um, I cannot speak on its ability to help with pain because I am in remission now. So. I can't, I don't really have a baseline of pain to kind of like judge that on, but um, some folks do say that CBD oil can help with pain. So that is something to maybe think about. Um, the owner is also just, oh my God, she's so sweet. She's so kind. She's so knowledgeable. Um, she started this company for folks with endometriosis and pelvic pain and just kind of expanded um, for different kind of pelvic and, and you know, vulval vaginal pain issues. And she also has like um, CBD suppositories if you have pelvic pain. So there's a bunch of different products, but this was marketed as lube and I bought it as lube. But for me, it wasn't um, thick or slippery enough for lube. Um, that's just a personal preference. I just found that to make it work, I would have needed like so many pumps. Um, so, but I was like, wait, CBD is an amazing ingredient for the skin. Like I'm just going to use it as a, an emollient. And so I did. And so I am. And I do to this day and I love it. And I will talk a little bit more about this shortly, but I have one more product we'll go through. All right. So last but not least, I want to talk about rescue bomb by sweet spot labs. Um, this is a concentrated vulvar treatment. 
Um, again, this product is uh, cruelty free. It's vegan, not vegan. There is beeswax in this product. Um, so again, if you're vegan, they do have a moisturizing serum, which is what I'm gonna switch to once this tube is done. I'm gonna switch to the vegan option. Um, but this company just uses stellar, stellar, stellar ingredients. Um, they use zinc oxide, which is really helpful for healing cuts and fissures and really just any kind of irritation. Essentially, zinc oxide is the active and main ingredient in diaper rash. So again, it's really used to soothe like inflamed, uh, irritated skin. So that is an excellent one. Another thing they use is shea butter, which is again, really great moisturizing, hydrating ingredient. They also use oatmeal, which is known to help with itch. So again, we do have, you know, we have some stuff to hydrate, we have some stuff to protect and heal. And then with the zinc oxide, we have some stuff for the itch. So that can also be really helpful, especially if itch is one of your symptoms. Now, let's talk about the consistency for a minute here. Um, this um, rescue bomb is a very, very thick, okay? It's thicker than I expected. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Okay, there we go. So you can see this is very, very thick, right? Like when I put the oils, when I put everything else on my hand, it kind of trickled down. This is staying up, this is not moving. Now this is a very concentrated product, there is no water in it, so you are advised to use this product after taking a shower or a bath to really help let it sink into the skin. But let's just look about like how this spreads here. So it still spreads pretty nicely but it is just a bit thicker than you might think. So it's not as thick as a diaper rash cream, but it's definitely a bit thicker. It definitely is really good at protecting the skin because it's thicker. I actually thought it wouldn't be very comfortable to wear. Like when I walked, I thought it, you know, I just imagined really thick like diaper rash cream on my vulva and I was like, well, that doesn't sound super appealing. That doesn't sound super comfortable. So I wasn't too sure, but once I put it on it, I didn't notice it at all. Like I thought I was gonna really notice it. I didn't notice it at all. Super comfortable. I, I sometimes will wear it when I go to the gym. Um, so even if you are doing activities that are very like friction kind of activities, um, it's still very, very good. I love the ingredients in them and what they do. So I definitely wanted to highlight that product and that is something in my rotation. So I just want to say a couple things in closing for this video, this really quick product review. Um, these are all products that I really like and that I use regularly. Now, one thing I want to say is don't be afraid to mix and match your products. If they've passed the patch test and you know that they are safe and that your body tolerates them, you can mix them. So what I actually like to do, and I'm not gonna pick up the coconut oil again, because we're gonna like throw out my back. Um, I actually like to mix in my CBD um, emollient. I like to mix this in with the coconut oil so that I have some coconut and some CBD oil mixed together. Now you can actually buy, there are products that already combine the two. Um, but instead of buying a new product, I just figure like I'll just combine them. So some days I combine them, some days I don't. Um, which brings me to my second point. Yes, I use all of these vulvar emollients. Basically, I just switch them up. The main emollient that I use is gonna be coconut oil, and this is primarily coming from a, a financial place, right? It is the cheapest one. So I tend to use that more often than not. And then I treat the other products kind of as a luxury, like a luxury product, you know, like, ooh, today we're gonna do a face mask or like use this fancy serum. Like that's how I treat my other products. Um, and it also just kind of like depends. So like, let's say like I use coconut oil for a few days and then um, 
I'm going for a really big hike. Then I like to use Clio by Demiva. I just really like how it feels when I exercise. It just makes things feel really nice and things move really smoothly down there. Um, so I really like that. If I were to go swimming, I would definitely probably use Sweet Spot Labs. Um, and sometimes I just like to put Sweet Spot Labs on at night so I'm not moving and I like to really like let those amazing concentrated ingredients really just soak into my skin overnight so that my skin can really retain the benefits from them. Um, and then Yes OB, I just find it like, oh, there's something about the texture of this. I just find it so luxurious. Um, so I definitely use this on days where I want to like spoil myself, I guess. Um, and I'm looking for something a little bit more like lush then i really like that texture um so yeah i just like to mix and match them and um i do consider price point in this but these are all the products i love these are all the products i use on rotation um and again don't be afraid to experiment just be sure to do your pet patch testing and make sure that your body tolerates it well Okay, um, so I think that's all I wanted to show you for this product review. If you have other product review um, requests that you would like me to do, um, please drop those in the comments below. And of course, if you wanna share your products, please share them. Sharing is caring. The more knowledge, the better. No one body is the same. We're all gonna have different preferences. Just because I love these products doesn't mean you will love these products and that is okay. The key is to find what works for you and what works for your body. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.